Hi, this is Eddie Joe, and welcome to another video in the series on Excel tips and tricks. So, for today's video, I'm going to show you how to do a drop down list so that you can choose information. For example, in the movie um, cell over here, if, you, if John Smith is 15, he wants to see a movie, but you want to select a movie as you're typing it in. Let's say you're working behind the counter, he comes to you. Uh, you've typed in his details for whatever reason and now you want to select the movie that is chosen so we want to have a drop down list that goes over here now remember I've got my lookup tables on this side so we have for example we got those movies and we want the customers to be able to tell us what they want to see and we just select it from a list so we're going to use that area there for a list so I go back to the main section and then inside here I would need to go to the data validation um, area so if you look at the top it says home insert page layout formulas data under data you find the data validation area so I click on the data validation and then data validation so it asks us a number of things but we are interested right now only in the allow so I click on that and there's all sorts of things so I want to allow a list I want to allow a list so when I choose something I can only get it from that list so once you've cho chosen the list over there it will then show you that you need to find and select a source you click on that icon over there it will then minimize that you go to your lookup table I'm going to the tab at the bottom and then I'm going to just highlight the range from there to there you can see how it says lookup over there referring to the tab and then it's got the range you will see there's a dollar before the E and a dollar before the 4 dollar before the E, a dollar before the 8 and that is an absolute cell reference which I will explain in a later video but that's why you have the dollar sign so don't be scared or frightened or anything you just select the range it shows it like that and then you click back on this little icon over here and then you can say OK so now you will find there's a little drop down over there and when you go over that you can select let's say I don't know Jurassic World or whatever and it will then stay there it will stay in that area and as before if we want to copy down or have the same formatting for that cell the same formula you go to the full handle at the bottom right click drag down and because we have selected Jurassic World obviously that's how it works let me just delete that one. I haven't deleted the list. The list is still there. I just want to copy all of that down. And then you will see in each one of them, you can select whichever one. So, uh, so for example, they are coming. Whoops, you can't see that one. So, uh, we'll just select, I don't know, let's say once, or Mary. Mary wants to see Cinderella, or whatever. And that's what you can do. Again, as before, if things don't fit in the cells, you can always just double click. Um, to make it fit and so on so that is how you can select these things um, so that is how you do data validation data validation means you can only put in certain things in a specific cell and a drop down menu can help you um, from a list to only put in specific things so you can't you can't go and put in like numbers or telephone or whatever that's all it will allow um, for example if I do that and I enter it says hang on you can't do this the value entered is not valid a user has restricted values that can be entered into the cell which was me with a list that I've done so I cancel that and then you can select from the list only so that is how data validation works using a drop-down list thank you for watching